Hey guys, everybody, it's Stacia Kennedy. I am so excited to share with you something cool. It's really super, super cool. It's one of my geeky things that I just been playing, been playing around with. Uh, one of my mentors showed me how to do this. And this is going to wow and delight your clients and customers when they book a call with you. So I just did this for myself. If you want to check it out, um, you can click the link below in the description and book a call with me. So book a 30 minute call. And so you can just, and after watching this video, I want to see that you implemented it too. And if you book a call with me, you'll be able to see this. But in this video, I'm going to show you, I'll walk you through exactly what I'm talking about. Cause you're like, what the heck? But what I'm doing here is with nifty images, we're going to create a dynamic image with uh, the client's name or prospect's name on your, your text message. So you can actually, I found out you could actually do a lot more with this, but Basically, I'm going to show you how I'm using it. So you're going to go into niftyimages.com, sign up for free. Again, I don't even know if they're in a, they had an affiliate program, but it's literally free. And I probably won't even go over their trial period of trial uh, credit. So they have like 10,000, let's just take a look over here at their pricing. Like they have a limit of like, you can use it for like 10,000 free plan for 10,000 limit here. So I probably won't ever have 10,000 calls until I need to upgrade, uh, unless you guys want to blow me up here. So hopefully, you know, <laughs> I want to give a lot of value So you book a call with me again, the link will be in the description and you'll see the magic happen in real time. So what I did here is I went to create an image and I went to personalized image. And what we're doing is I'm going to have this image here is what I picked. They have some other like templates, as you saw. But this template, I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. I can probably see myself putting my picture right here. And what this is going to do is I'm going to show you um, is that there, the prospect's name is going to be filled in right there underneath that. So what I did was you can see the layers here for this image. It has a photo here of the girl and then let's vibe and then the uh, prospect's name here and here. And so... All I simply did was actually duplicate or actually change out the image here. So went back to Canva. So I'm going to go and move this see, over here. And this is actually the workflow in high level. I'm going to show you how I texted it to someone who booked a call with me afterwards. So let me go to Canva and I'm going to make my picture go smaller here and grab one of my photos. So I dragged and dropped some of my photos here. I thought I could have used this one or this one, but I used this one here. And so before I got, I did the transparent background, basically as I, I grabbed this photo here and then made it bigger. Didn't want to see my shorts. So I like just made it bigger like this, kind of put it in on the left side, just like that. And then I clicked on edit photo and remove background for those of you guys who want a canva let like masterclass i'm really considering because what that's like like game changer like you know, i don't even i know how to do photoshop but not as well as i used to and i don't use it much because canva's just so they've just done such a great job at all the things you can do in canva um and it just won't bog my computer down right so do that right and then i just went to share download transparent background. I have multiple pages here, which is another hack here. You can uncheck all the pages so it doesn't like download all of them and just download that one page you want to download and then done and then download that image. So now I've removed the background. I'm downloading this image. Let's see, downloads example. I'm just going to name it put it on my downloads folder, go back to nifty images over here. And then we're just going to replace that image here. So I'm going to change image, select image and go to download folder where I had that example. I'm going to upload that there. There we go. And then I changed the let's vibe template. You can like, I'm gonna click on that. Oh, it moved it and moved it back there. Click on that layer. And then we're going to change this to 
Aloha. I thought that would be better. I'm going to put Aloha. And then if I want to, I can change the fonts. Things like that. There you go. And you can change the colors over here. You can get your, your specific hex colors if you have a specific color for your brand. You want to. I'm just kind of just fooling around with it here so you can see how you can change the colors. But get your brand colors down. Do all that stuff right here. I'm going to just change it like that. You can change the colors. You can make it bold. You can, you know, I tell however you want to do the designs. If you want more, looks like they have different options here. You can play around with, with a font stroke, gradients. Oh, that's cool. So things like that. Then um, every layer, this one has the dynamic text right there. So it's a, a, the name field is going to be show up there. Um, and then the fallback text. The fallback text just means like if the name doesn't pull in, what is it going to show? The words are going to show together. So aloha together. Maybe I want to change it to mahalo or something else but the designs also is going to show the word matthew strictly for design purposes as it says here again another area where you can change the way the font looks or what font we're using here you can do the drop down here and change the fonts here but i really liked this template and i ended up using this and so i saved it and then what happens let me go back to the one that i actually used let me go back here so once you create the template, go back to mine, here it is. I just saved the image and it came up with this code. And then what you want to do is just grab, copy this code here, or I'm sorry, not all the way from the HTTPS all the way to the name equals. And I'm going to copy that and I'm going to show you the workflow. So I have, I'm using my appointment calendar workflow. And so I went to the text messaging one and I placed it right here under the add files through your URL, pasted it there. And then there was a tiny tag right next to it where you click on that. This will drop down. And then I put in first name and then I just clicked add. So as you can see the merge, the tag merge of the first name pulled in right here as the example. And I actually just clicked add and then added it to this line right here. So I just click add and we'll do it one more time and not save it. So I don't want it to, to show twice, but literally what happens is whatever the client's name is when they book the call, we'll pull in and text them that image. So right now the, the contact tag, the merge fill is showing there. And then I also added this. I didn't, say that in the uh, tutorial, but I added this just through the, through their site. So added the design through Nifty with a, a different font here. So I added that inside of the system here. So I'm going to show you the one that I did right here. So I added that by just simply going to add element and added a text there. So if you wanted to add other images or shapes and things like that. I just used their template that was already ready in here in these layers. But if you wanted to add an additional image, you can upload an image, add shapes to the image. Um, it created another layer when I added that. But if I wanted to, where I added this text here, I added, I just added that right here and then moved it around and then that created an extra layer there where I, I put my name and things like that too. Thing. So um, that's how I did it. Let me delete this or cancel that sample and then show you on Facebook. I sent this to my friend Marlene. I was like, hey, can you test this for me? And then she sent me the screenshot of what it looked like on her phone. So you can see how that looked like on, your, on their phone on the prospect. And they get a text and it filled in their name right in the back there. Or obviously if you're in high level, um, and I'm using this with high level. It shows um, in the in the actual conversations of you going back. It'll show you how it looked um, right inside of your conversation tab. So 
super exciting stuff. Let me see, where's my camera go? Well, that's it then. That's my tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. If you use this, if you go to Nifty Images, if you created it for your client, I think it's going to be super exciting to, to show them something cool and wow them before they even get on the call with you. So let's see. Let's see if I can. Oh, there, there's back my camera. Thanks for watching. Again, we'll see you guys on the next video and comment below if you liked it. And if you did it, if you went ahead and implemented this and we'll see you on the next video. Much love and aloha.